The earth, the air, the fire, the water, return, 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 return. The earth, the air, the fire, the water, return, 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 return. I channel today's video will be a witch's moon box unboxing and if that is something that you guys are interested in just keep on watching okay so this month's well was this june's this was june's i'm behind on filming because i yeah this is june's it is of sacred and shadow i have a hard time reading but it's a pretty good box. Um, it's a really good box, actually. So it says, each day we work to become more connected with our purpose through our ritual and practice. This journey requires the honest immersion of spirit into the shadows so that we may absorb the light. Self-transformation and ascension come from a deep willingness to face fears and make realizations regarding our current reality. As we confront and work through our personal char characteristics and tendencies, we break down walls, allowing us to gain strength and sharpen our ability to overcome obstacles. These practices bring our intentions into real manifestations. In this very special collection, we will work with both the shadow self and light body to bring victorious energy into our practices and craft. Okay, so the first thing on the box, every time you open it, it's gonna be this some artwork this came with the spell that was like right on top and then I got my personal or personal Oracle card and it is dear of Delta and this comes from the white light Oracle that we got in this box so I have never seen this before um, but the second that I saw this card I was like oh that's such a pretty card I wonder what it is and then you open up the stinking box and here this is. Um, so, but I fell in love with the back of the card. Like, um, if you know me in real life, uh, I have Native American blood running through me and I've always been very in love with wolves. Um, ever since I was little, I've always loved a wolf. I've always wanted a wolf dog. Um, can't have one, but I would love, you know, I want one. I think wolves are beautiful and, um, yeah, but anyway, so this is my card. Um, I will probably read to you what, I'll have to get the book out of here, what this means um, at the end of this, so that way. But we got the White Light Oracle, um, and it's made by Alana Fairchild. It says, enter the luminous heart of the sacred. It's a beautiful deck. Um, I love Oracle. I don't really work a lot with tarot, but um, Oracle, I do. Like these cards, huh, I open straight to this one, um, are beautiful. They're just beautiful. And But as you guys know, I'm not a light worker per se. Um, I find my life to be, obviously I thrive in chaos. Um, but I do like these cards, they're pretty. So the Deer of Delta, let me look at it. If I can find, oh, I've already passed it. It says, without any force, you can overcome even extreme negativities. Your real nature is gentle, which is powerful in its very own unique way. You do not need to become something you are not. You can confidently and effectively invoke spiritual protection from the light. You can never be dominated or bullied at a spiritual level because the real you is always empowered and protected in the light. Which is funny that I just say that I thrive in chaos, but I do like this imaging. So obviously this card was pulled for a reason. If you guys watched my last video, you know how I am dealing with a lot of 
sadness and negativity and just yeah so maybe this card was given to me for a reason um so yeah that's the first thing on the on the list <laughs> too is this deck um but this is the art that we got and all their art is obviously done by the same person um a.e alden so you have the shadow self artwork and at the end i will share a little clip of all the stuff and then the light body artwork and they're always so beautiful i love these um like i've said i think every time i do this box i am planning on framing a lot of this artwork because i need all the magicalness in my house um i feel like i just love having magic stuff just everywhere my husband may not like it but uh i do okay so here is our spell um and then our spell candles this was also on the top of the box it said it is the place of parody i'm not sure if i am saying that correctly but that is our spell and then you get two uh twin you know candles uh light and dark obviously spirits or your shadow self light body um candles and then at the end i'll go over everything that's on the paper just so you guys can know the details perfectly um another thing that was well that's all on the top pretty much was we got an incense um burner and then some some incense i've never in this box i don't think i've ever gotten cone incense this is the first time and then we got the little disc that goes underneath um but i don't know if you can see that it's just so pretty we have a like my husband likes to call it a rock and this one definitely does look like a rock but it is not it is a crystal it is smooth on one side it is very beautiful and i will tell you all about this at the end so just wait and see <laughs> and then we got our um our herbs we have mustard seed star anise actually i just ran out of my star anise so i'm glad i got this um and mullen our oil is the gray and you all know i love their oils this one is packed with stuff all in it um i'll let you know what is in it but just look at how pretty their oils always smell really good and the last thing that is in this one is our um salt and i think it says etane and it is our sacred salt our magical salt and this smells really good too um oops it just smells like um it smells like magic to be honest it smells like if you walk into a magical store it just has that magic smell i don't know how to explain it but that's what it is okay on to the list <laughs> so we got our white light oracle deck by alana fairchild um it is a brand new oracle deck so that's pretty cool um then we have our brass carved incense holder and resin burner it says we've included this beautiful brass carved incense burner so that you may burn cone or resin incense while your journey through the shadow self place the wooden coaster on the surface you wish to place the burner and set your burner on the small black floral design coaster included if you wish you may pour a small amount of sand not included in the burner to catch what falls um set the screen on top of the burner so that way it forms a bowl shape and setting the charcoal or cone incense within the crevice so i'm assuming that i did this right but you know i may not have who knows could be like this probably more so like that um then our incense it tells you this time what incense is so i'm pretty thankful for that because you guys know i struggle with trying to tell you what this smells like so the cone incense is guides of enlightenment jasmine ritual incense cones definitely smell the jasmine it smells 
pretty florally. I'm not a very floral person if you guys didn't know that by now, but I do like the smell of this one. Um, it says, we have placed a bag of jasmine cone incense for you to burn on top of your brass holder. Jasmine is used for bringing a sense of, of opening good luck, grace, and beauty into your sacred space. As the, the smoke from this incense wafts throughout your surroundings, visualize a luminous white or golden light emanating upon your work or ritual area. And this is, this, the stone is called the Agni Manatite Stone or Pearl of Fire. It is a very unique and an un and uncommon stone was originally found in Indonesia. Researchers have since claimed that this stone to be rare based on the interesting demand of the stone as well as its limited availability. The name Agni Manatite comes from Lord Agni or God of Fire and is said to hold the powers of vitality, charm, and intuition known to carry the healing and intuitive energies of the earth within its creation. The Pearl of Fire is a wonderful stone to meditate with, placing it upon chakra centers that may need stimulation. As the stone is presented in its rough form, a side has been smoothed and polished so that you may gaze upon its internal energies or simply place upon a specific area of the body. This very sacred stone was placed within this collection to assist you in opening your psychic sight so that you may dive deeper into the shadow aspects of your soul. And this stone, it, I don't know, it's beautiful. I've touched it so many times so you probably can't see the inside but it's it's just uh, the stone has some really good energy and I feel like I need it right now and then the artwork like always is done by A. E. Alden both of them are done by A. E. Alden I'm not gonna read the little paragraphs because it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I will share the pictures though of them up close so that way you guys can see them. The gray magical anointing oil. Um, it says we have created this magical anointing oil with the intentions of bringing balance and understanding into your daily perspectives. The gray does not refer to eight light Eight light, ether light, either. I can't even read. <laughs> the gray does not refer to either light or dark, but a com combined energy of both, created to be a space where there is, are no judgments. The energy is surrounded by new perspectives and observations. We have enchanted this magical oil with the sandalwood, clove, and ylang ylang oils, and have included blue lotus, wild cherry bark, plantain, and kasakara bark as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lumerian quartz said to personify oneness within your aura. We also have included a special mixture of deeper understanding magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. And the base of this oil is sunflower oil. So if you're allergic to sunflower oil, you wouldn't put it on your skin. Um, but like I said, it's just beautiful. And then our salt... Says we've created this sacred salt with the intentions of honoring the season of the sun. This is a very special mixture we've created with the energies of Etain in Mai. Etain is a Celtic goddess of the sun, commonly known as the Shining One. This historical goddess of the sun provides us with the bright energies while we work towards transformation and rebirth. We have enchanted the sacred salt with lemon, ginger, and black pepper oils, as well as calendula, St. John's wort, and raspberry leaf herbs. We also have included a mixture of our summer solstice magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of this sacred salt. And if you don't have a bath available, like, cause my bath is really small and I'm not gonna sit in there and feel all cramped, you know? Um, it says that you can steep bath salt in a, a bowl of warm water and wash over your skin to benefit from the energies within. So you can do that as well. Um, now onto our herbs. Mullen is a very powerful and noteworthy herb. Mullen carries the energies of courage to those who work with her energies. 
as you dress your candles, create oils, or simply place within magical sachets. Visualize the overwhelming energies of vitality surge throughout your your energetic body. Mullen is a wonderful tool to use during shadow work as it brings a sense of comfort and energies while facing more com uncomfortable truths. Gender, feminine, planetary connections, Saturn, and elemental connections, fire. Star Anise, and I'm not even going to try to say the magical name that it says on the side. Um, because as you can tell, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how to say either instead of ether or I don't even know what I said the first time. Um, although known for its ability to bring good luck and fortune, Star Anise is also a wonderful awakener of intuition during divina divinatory practices. Included Star Anise within your incense mixture to bring a clearer understanding to your thoughts and emotions while, re re while receiving messages. Gender masculine, planetary connections Jupiter, and elemental connection air. And then the last one is mustard seed, a wonderful protector and strengthener of mental abilities. Mustard seed is a kind companion during times of introspection. Add mustard seed to your magical sachets for protection and vitality. Gender masculine, planetary connection Mars, an elemental connection fire. And here are some mustard seeds. And I think that is it, besides every time you get parchment paper. So that is what was it, June's, which is Moonbox, which I, going through with what I'm going through lately, I definitely, I think, needed this box. I always say that, but I always feel like they know exactly what I need when I need it. It's crazy. Um, I will leave a link to The Witch's Moon if you would like to get a box of your own. I am not sponsored. I am not given this box for free. I pay for it like everybody else. Um, so if you want a box, I'll leave the link down below. Um, I love getting these boxes every month. It does keep the magic alive, I swear. It does. Um, sometimes I feel like I go through stagnant periods and I'm like, ah, oh, this is something that I need to do. So. Thank you guys for watching and I will be back hopefully next week with some new videos um, and until then, blessed be. Some night and shiny